Hello everybody and welcome to the first chapter in English with Dr. Papar Gora. The first topic I'll be dealing with is amplification, a very important topic in written English and covered by most syllabuses across the world. Now whenever we talk about amplification, the first thing that comes to your head is what do you actually mean by amplification? The word amplification comes from the word amplify or to make big so that gives you an idea of what actually is amplification it is making big or expanding an idea or adding your own thoughts to that particular idea to make it big and large from the examination point of view we need to realize that whenever a question comes on amplification it is to do with something like this you will give be given a proverb and that particular proverb you have to write two paragraphs on that proverb and then first paragraph will have something different and the second obviously something different in this particular class i'll try to analyze before you and try to explain what actually goes into an amplification see whenever we talk about proverbs the most common proverb that comes to our head is rome was not built in a day and it's a beautiful example of how we can really go about trying to explain what is an amplification so i'd like to show you some photographs of my last visit to rome in 2007 and show you why i could not wait from clicking everything that i came across so this is a photograph of rome Now when you look at it what do you feel look at the massive structures there we have these huge pillars and huge and everything there is gives you the concept of the feel of the mighty the big look at the huge pillars the if i go back look at the 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 stone clad these are the huge sprawling roads that you have there and you feel you are actually walking into history look at that even the public places are so beautifully done and they have the, they give you this feeling of being majestic look at that now even this if you're talking about the churches we have the walls of the churches with this beautiful painting there and nothing is what you call bland or something that is plain everything has a strange sort of uh, ethnicity and beauty attached to it look at the massiveness there if you look at this do you have this feeling that you can make this thing someone could have built this particular place uh, so beautiful a place in one day therefore when you talk about amplifying or working on or talking more about this idea or the proverb called rome was not built in a day you'll begin to realize you have so many things to say there Now, whenever we talk about amplification, please remember that they will give you the question paper will normally give you a, a, a proverb. Say one of this is this, or something like a friend in need is a friend indeed, or slow and steady wins the race. Normally, these are the concepts they will be asking you to write on. Now, if I talk about Rome was not built in a day. I would like to try and tell you how you go about writing the application. The first paragraph is normally very small and short in a way. Basically two or three sentences. What do you begin with? We begin with normally the word literally. That means the first paragraph will tell you literally what that particular proverb means. Rome was not built in a day. Means Rome actually took many days to be built. that is the idea but the second paragraph is more challenging why is it challenging because the second paragraph of every amplification that you write you need to tell about what actually you can relate to your life or how you can relate your life to that particular proverb say it took many years to build rome therefore how can you link it up to your life your life as a student it means that in order to get a very successful career make or build a successful career it will take a lot of hard work a lot of patience and many many years 
just like it must have taken many many years thousands of workers must have worked in building up the empire called Rome. Similarly, if you want to make something out of your human life, your student life has to be full of patience, full of hard work. Again, one more aspect there. In order to build the city of Rome, the king must not have built it himself, right? So, there must have been thousands of workers and kings across the centuries who must have contributed their bit to make Rome as beautiful as it is today. It is a place where everybody would love to go, every visitor's dream in a way, every traveler's dream. Similarly, you're talking about your life. That means you have to inculcate those values of patience, hard work. Apart from that, you have to take the help of your friends, your teachers, your family. Everyone will contribute their bit to make your life successful to make you a very successful human being someone everybody would like to take to appoint give an appointment or give a job do you see the link there that is how you write an amplification you tell the first paragraph you write the first paragraph beginning with the word literally and the second paragraph you have to link it up to your life you begin with linking the above proverb to our lives like that you go on so let us talk about a little little on the other amplifications in my next class i hope this class was a bit helpful to you and could give you an idea of what amplification actually means and how you go about writing an amplification if you would like to know more about that if you want any help about writing an amplification we can always give a comment and then i can always post you about how or an example of how to write an amplification of course you have if you have this book uh, students handbook on written english and phonetics by me you can turn to page number 145 from where I give you a detailed diagrammatic representation, diagrammatic explanation of the concept of amplification. And I have given you, I have tried to write an amplification on most of the topics. Like here we have a stitch in time saves nine, a friend in need is a friend in need, in need, uneasy lies ahead that wears a crown and many other. So what I'll do in my next class is that I'll tell you some more ideas on the different proverbs that might be asked to be I mean, to write an amplification on. I hope you like this particular uh, chapter that I introduced to you all. Do give your comments in the comments box and let me know if you'd like to know anything else. Thank you so much for watching.